Okay, today I want to warn you about a potential problem with your final salary pension, how to identify if it's going to affect you, and most importantly, what you can do about it. Firstly, I need to explain what is meant by your final salary, because I know that some teachers still believe it is just that, just your salary from the last year. And whilst they are partly correct, that is just one of the two ways in which your final salary can be worked out. Method A is your last 12 months salary. That is your full time equivalent salary if you're part time. No inflation is added to it. It is just the total you get paid over those 12 months. The other method, method B, uses your salaries from the last 10 years. And crucially, each of those salaries has inflation added to it before it's used to work out your final salary in this method. So you could have a salary from 2012 being used in this calculation. That is a salary before many children in primary school were actually born. So why is this a problem? The problem comes because before we work out the final salary using these older salaries, inflation is added to them. So this chart that shows the rise in salaries can often fool people into thinking that their most recent salaries are better than their older ones. When we add inflation, then the picture changes and it is less clear where the best three will come from. The problem is if the best three for you are on the left hand side of this chart. And that's because as we move forward into 2023, that salary on the left from 2012 will stop being used because it becomes more than 10 years old. So just like the child moving on from primary school, once it's gone, it is gone and you cannot get it back. So why am I bothering explaining this to you if you cannot get it back? Well, there is a rule that you can use to stop it disappearing from your calculation. And I'm gonna tell you about that at the end, but first, let me show you how to check whether you are going to be affected by losing your best salaries at any time soon. At this point, I suggest you get your statement from the Teachers Pensions website. Um, I find the easiest way to get everything you need is to download the PDF version of the statement. Once you have it, open it and look for the following two pages of information. Uh, this first piece of information is normally on about page five or thereabouts and looks something like this. It shows the two calculations for your final salary and you will always get the best of method A or method B. And a word of warning here. If your method A is better, don't get complacent. Remember that method A does not include any inflation. Um, so it normally doesn't change until August when we get a pay rise. Method B, however, is always having inflation added to it. So these salaries were done in February. So method A is unlikely to change for another six months. Method B, however, is going to get another six months of inflation one month after the other. Now that's not going to help if your actual best salary is going to disappear as well. But it's worth bearing in mind that if your method A at the moment is slightly higher, and we're talking inflation about six, seven percent, than method B, that might not be the case in a few months time. Um, but for now, I want to focus on the dates of method B. This statement was prepared at the end of February 2022. And the three years being used start at that maximum of 10 years before that, that is in March 2012. This is the first warning sign that your final salary could be about to drop and take your pension with it. So to confirm what is going to happen, we now need to look at another table on your statement. You can find this table just above that calculation I've been looking at. Uh, and before you ask, this, this one doesn't come from the same statement as, as the previous one. The numbers in this don't match that previous one because on this table, I want to show you the next warning sign. The part I want you to focus on 
is the last column where it tells you which salaries are being used in your method B calculation. The salaries shown here are the ones that have had inflation added to them. And here is the problem. That bottom salary is going to start disappearing from the calculation as it's going to move outside the 10 year window that method B uses. The 10 year window moves on and uses more recent salaries. And if those salaries are lower, then your final salary pension is going to go down. Now, at this point, you may be wondering what, if anything, can be done about it. I mean, you cannot stop time. You can't turn back the clock. So just how can you make a difference? How can you stop your final salary pension losing value? Firstly, you cannot go back and put this right if you've missed the opportunity. I know because I've missed out on about £6,000 in my lump sum and about £2,000 a year in my pension simply because I was not paying attention to my pension. So please don't stick your head in the sand or rather just take time and lift it out from that mountain of marking of textbooks you've got and spend five minutes checking out your own pension. What you can do to see if your pension, your final salary is about to drop, is to opt out of the pension scheme for a month. One month is all it takes to freeze that 10 year time span and stop those good years falling off and outside the method B calculation. This is because there is a rule that protects the pensions of teachers who take breaks from the scheme. It's called the hypothetical calculation. You can find out more about that on TPS or in another of my videos. So I'm not going to go into detail here. This is all about recognizing if you may have a problem that you need to look after. Now, taking a month out of the scheme does mean you are going to be sacrificing a little from your career average pension scheme. And again, if you want to know more about that, please check out my video called The Pay Plateau to see how much we're actually talking about. We are not talking about great sums of money in what you're sacrificing and potentially what you could gain by preventing the fall in your final salary. So to remind you what you need to look for on your statement, if your method B is using the salaries from the bottom of this table, take a closer look at whether you need to take a month out to prevent your final salary from dropping. Thank you.